Hello, Professor Rich here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys today how to pull a medication from the Pixis, okay? Um, what we have here is a first dose machine. Each hospital or skilled nursing facility have it, you work at or doing clinical rotations can have something similar, um, but they're all gonna be different. This is what we have in our simulations uh, center and our skills lab. It is much smaller than what you'll see in the hospital, of course, because they're dealing with lots more patients than what we have here. But this is the basics of it. This screen right here, and you're gonna go ahead and enter your credentials that your instructor has given you. Once you enter your credentials, go ahead and hit log in. It's gonna bring you up here and you're gonna see over here, you're gonna have the remove item and here's gonna be return item. Today, we're only gonna show the demonstration on how to remove an item. So click remove item and then you have two options once you're at this point. You can scroll down manually using the tab all the way, but that might take you a, quite a long time. So I recommend that you use the search bar here. And so my patient for demonstration is gonna be Alan Covey. So I'm gonna type the first couple letters of that. And then looks like Alan Covey popped right up. I'm gonna compare it to my paperwork to make sure I'm selecting the correct patient. Selecting, then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And then it's gonna bring up all the medications that this patient has ordered um, from the doctor. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna select the, the one that you're gonna be pulling and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's the correct medication, the right dose, the right route, um, all of those sort of things. Um, this machine you want to refer to kind of as a vending machine of medications, okay? Um, and so when we're pulling medications from this, we wanna ensure that we're pulling the right medications because this is gonna be traditionally stocked by the pharmacy department. And sometimes they might accidentally put a medication in the wrong bin or give the wrong dose or something like that. So it's not always gonna be perfect. So we have to make sure we're doing our safety checks and when we're pulling out the right medication. So for today's demo, I'm gonna go ahead and pull um, this uh, Catapril 25 milligrams tablet. So I've double checked that I have Alan Covey here. I have the correct date of birth. Um, and then I'm gonna, this is the correct dose listed. So once I hit that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And this is an important screen because here, it again, you you gives you the correct dosage. This is the tablet, um, 25 milligrams. And then over here, um, it gives you an overview of the cart. And this is gonna let you know where you can find the medication and which drawer that's gonna open. Some hospitals, it just pops the one open for you. It's pretty easy, but this one we have, we actually have to pull that drawer. So if I zoom in here, you have the category up here, that's A, the B, and the C, and the D, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is kinda go back and show you that along here. So here's your wide view here. And then when you look here, you have the A section, the B section, and then your C and then your D down here, okay? And so if I'm looking back up here, it's telling me that it is in the C section, okay? Because it's on the C side here. That B that's highlighted is letting me know the drawer to pull. And then this thing in here, so, so this diagram is gonna show you um, all the drawers that are in that compartment. And so it's gonna be in the second part, which will make sense when I open it. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that um, from the C and the B1. So here I'm, I'm looking at the C and I'm gonna do the B1, which is right here. So I'm gonna pull that up. And then again, there's gonna be multiple spots for all those meds that were listed. And if you remember correctly, it tells me that it's in that second spot on the left-hand side. So second spot left-hand side is gonna be this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this, pull this open. I'm gonna take a quick little look. It looks like it is Catapril 25 milligrams. I look at the expiration date. And again, I'm gonna come back to my order up here and I'm gonna verify that it's the correct with that. And then also verify with my paperwork that I've pulled the correct medication. Once I've done that, then I'm gonna go ahead and close the drawer. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit the done button and then you would be done with pulling that medication. So once you've successfully pulled the medication, you'll be left with this screen. Okay, you, do, you want to make sure that you log out. That's very, very important because you don't want someone to pull um, any medications um, under your name. For example, if you're in the hospital and you forget to log out, some other nurse could come behind you and withdraw some medications. If they withdraw you know, um, a narcotic or benzodiazepine or something like that, 
you know, those are those are controlled substances and they would all be linked to your account, not theirs. And so we don't want to do that. So make sure you hit the log out. It takes you back into this sign in screen.